Milo Yiannopoulos. I'm not sure how many of you actually know who that is. I've been following him for a couple of years, actually. I, I know he's been around a lot longer than that, but he is a pretty much famous or well-known gay conservative. And now he's coming out as of recently saying that he is now ex-gay, no longer gay, and is charting a new path to faith of some sort. At least that's what he's talking about in this kind of bizarre interview. But if you know Milo pretty well, this is shouldn't strike you at least as of anything new. This is kind of how he is anyways. So before I get into that, just a quick reminder to like the video, to subscribe to the channel as well. But the best way you can help me out here is to share this video. So let's get into this story here about Milo Yiannopoulos. So he is a conservative kind of provocateur. He often is saying things that are offensive and things like that. And now he's talking about being ex-gay, that he is now turning away from that past life, or at least trying to, and becoming a Catholic. So there's some weird parts of this interview, but basically he a few of the quotes that he's talking about here is where he said, when I used to be a kid that I only became gay to torment my mother, I wasn't entirely joking. Of course, I was never wholly at home in the gay lifestyle. Who is? Who could be? I only leaned heavily into it in public because it drove liberals crazy to see a handsome, charismatic, intelligent gay man righteously celebrating conservative principles. So, you know, the, the fact is, is that I, I think that Milo and what he's talking about is that, you know, a lot of what he did was to be, it was part of the, his character. It was part of something that he had to make it be the case so that he could actually really trigger people is basically what was going on to show that you could be gay and conservative at the same time, maybe, uh, you know, at least in the way that he was presenting it. Um, but going on, he says, well, the guy I live with has been demoted to housemate, which hasn't been easy for either of us. It helps that I can still just about afford to keep him in Givenchy and a new Porsche every year could be worse for him, I guess. So <laughs> it's just, you know, once again, it, it's a lot of this Milo, kind of humor that he always has with everything that he's saying. But, you know, the truth is, is that I think what's really going to set liberals off about this as well is, is that Milo is charting a path and basically saying, look, you know, this isn't as cut and dry as the left would have you believe because he starts talking about basically trying to bring back this idea of conversion therapy. So he says, as you might expect, my professional priorities have shifted somewhat given my new spiritual preoccupations, um, over the next decade, I would like to help rehabilitate what the media calls conversion therapy. It does work, albeit not for everybody. And what he's basically trying to do, and I, I think this is going to be interesting, but I don't know if the left will truly care at all anyways. Obviously, this gets his name back in the news. That's something that he likes <laughs> to, you know, his attention. But at the same time, you know, the, the left is going to, uh, it depends on if they take him seriously as a gay person anyways, or if they did. Because if they did, and he's coming out and saying, well, you can convert, you can turn away from that past life, it's the thing that us as Christians have been talking about for so many years, is, th is this idea that everybody has their temptations, and being gay oftentimes is one of those. And you know, if, if that was a temptation that he had, then there should be a, oh, there's obviously a way for him to turn away from that lifestyle and live correctly, not in sin. So, but the left doesn't want you to believe that the left and what triggers them the most about all of this is that you have this guy basically saying it's not as cut and dry as you think it is because the left will have you believe that whatever you are, you're born that way. There's no way to change it. There's no way to alter it. Once you're a certain way, you're always that way, no matter what in the world must tolerate you in every way possible. They must treat you not just with respect, but they must cater to you. They must do everything in their power to make you be the most important person in the room when you walk into it because you are different is what they wanted to look at it as being. And Milo is basically putting a kind of just a nail in that and, and saying that's not what this is about at all. People can change. Th there is this thing, wh whether that's you know just, just a belief in God, oftentimes in, in an understanding that it is a sin can oftentimes be enough for people to say that's not something you don't have to live this way. You don't have to continuously do it like this. Once again, will it make a big difference in, in the way that the left thinks about this? I highly doubt it, to be honest with you, because I don't think that they cared about Milo as a gay person anyways, so I don't think that they're going to care about him basically hitting the headlines about this now. But it is a very interesting story, so we'll see what happens. The thing, too, is that Milo flips and changes a lot of things that he says a lot of times, so 
Who knows? Maybe, maybe some a lot of good will come out of this. Maybe it won't. We'll kind of have to keep track and see if he's going to stay consistent with these beliefs and, and actually truly take on learning about faith and religion. And he's often talked about um, as much as he's always in his, and I'm talking about a couple of years ago, even though he was coming out and saying he was gay at the time, he would oftentimes say that Christianity has had a very good effect on society, just in a kind of secular viewpoint of it. But to see him actually believing in it, is he going to carry that out? Time will tell. That, that's all that I can really say for now. So with that being said, I thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.